The one thing though, that I wanted to share with you guys, which was a previous post that we had actually done in social media, which was asking people, you know, do you actually know your worth? And there was a, it was really a 50, 50 split with a pretty high res like response rate from clinicians across the country. Um, but the question that I had was when a lot of people said, you know, do you know your worth? The question that we sort of are basing things off of today is your, but are you kind of being overvalued or are you being undervalued? And I think a lot of us are always under the assumption we work really hard and, you know, we're being undervalued or under recognized, but it's mostly comes out as underpaid, right? So the question that a lot of us have to think about is, is sometimes a little bit of the discontent that many of us have as clinicians is it the fact that you just don't feel recognized? Is it, is it, is it really a pay piece? So it's something that we have to kind of figure out as well in our minds, because a lot of people that I know in clinics actually make less money than people who are kind of, you know, not content where they are, but they're, they feel like they're part of a team. There's such a great culture in that clinic. So again, thinking about what it is that we actually have as some of our top motivating factors. So if I was to ask you guys in the chat, if you were to think about, let's just talk about pay, because let's stay on the topic of this, of this webinar, how would you describe your annual pay? And if you kind of look at the screen in the background, you know, do you feel like you're over or under? Like what odds were we playing here? Let's kind of get a sense of what the balance is. And obviously if some of you are not content uh, to share because of people who, you know, you may not want everybody to know, but even just reflect and kind of throw this in your, you know, just reflect on this in your mind, just for a moment, you know, thinking again, do I feel that I'm overpaid? Or underpaid. And the question that I do want you to throw into the chat for me, though, depending on how, you know, what answer you chose, how would you validate that answer? So if I was actually to meet every single one of you, whether you're the clinician that's looking to make more, whether you're the clinic owner trying to figure out, you know, do I pay it fairly? You know, I feel like I have a good offer. How would you validate that other way? What would be your validation? Because oftentimes what I can sort of share with what I see in the industry, especially based on the conversations that I have with a lot of clinicians, people validate by calling their friend. They validate by calling their colleague. They validate by calling another you know, clinic owner. But the interesting thing is we very rarely compare apples to apples. Each of us has uniqueness to our businesses, right? We have different offers. We have different perks. We have different strategies that we, that we support. Some support entrepreneurship journeys. Some will support entrepreneurship journeys. So it kind of takes us a little bit further, but I'm actually curious, how would you validate your answer? If you feel like you're, oh, obviously, if you feel like you're overpaid, let's roll with that. But if you feel like you're underpaid, how do you validate? What would you say? Throw it in the chat. What's one way? Like, is it looking at a specific metric? Is, is it, you know, the number of assessments that you get? or don't get, like how, what concrete data do we have for, for this? And if you're thinking here, like, you know, Daryl, this is why I showed up today. You can just be like, move on. I'm actually content for somebody to move us along at the same time. But I'm going to, and as you guys are thinking about that too, I'm going to move us back to sort of a different section here for a second. So what I'm going to show is sort of when I speak to a lot of younger clinicians, so if some of you are on the call and you're like, well, I, I'm not a young clinician, I've been practicing, I've got some experience in my belt, I'm going to kind of give you a sense of where people start though. And I think it's important for us to look at this. So this is sort of that under three year, you know, clinician, probably still around five, you would see this start to shift, but how much do people expect to learn per year? Um, and we're normally seeing majority of people are sitting around this 75,000 mark. That's where most people are kind of hovering, like somewhere on the 60s side. But what I want to show you is a little bit, how do we get there? And then how can you improve that, you know, organically, like actually within the clinic without having it always to be focused on raises. But what I did want to show you is I took this actually from job banks. So it's from the government website to just to give you a sense of what the hourly kind of structure looks like across the country. And, you know, we're looking at, there's a mean of about $40 and 75 cents, right? The high side is just under 50. And I don't know anybody making that low. So I'm not sure kind of where that's from. That seems to be a little bit unrealistic, but none, none of us are really focusing on this low side. But the one thing that I did want to share with everybody is if you just kind of look down here, what I did do is just give you a general sense of kind of where people are sitting at. So the median is around 80K across the country. You know, the highest side is around 100K, but there's actually a lot of clinicians that make over 100K. There's a lot of clinicians that are making just under 80K and they're very happy. 
right? So again, I think it's, it's something that's really important for us when we actually do have meetings with our clinic owners and we're having those early discussions, it's important that we communicate what it is that we actually are looking for both professionally and what some of our professional goals are. And again, remember this didn't, when you look at this data, it's sort of general prevailing physiotherapy wages, okay? So I know there's some chiros on the call, but I just did this to give a quick snapshot of what, what we can see. And again, for those of us that are on a fee split, working backwards and doing some of that rehab math will be important, okay? But this is a uh, hospital and private. Yeah, Rihanna, it would be, this would be everything, but obviously it probably has a bit more of a focus as far as, you know, where they're pulling the data would probably be higher representation from public.